getting right into this. And man, like you said, this is uh, going to be a very fun matchup. J Joff, I think widely considered probably the best Kirby. And, I, and the same for Adamus, uh, also considered Adamus the best, best Kirby. No. <laughs> yeah, so there's, uh, there's Zaki in Japan, who I think mm -hmm. like most people, at least offline, consider to be better than Adamus. But like yeah. when it comes to North America, when it comes to Wi-Fi specifically, he's just un uncontested. There mm -hmm. are a few good ones out there, but none of them anywhere near the level that that Adamus puts out results wise. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, this is just also like a character, like a character specialist for about tw almost 20 years now, if you think about it. He's been going, he's been going since <laughs> like what? He peaked at like 18th in the world for Brawl with solo DDD. Yeah, he has, it's like he has been chugging along for years and years and years. Yeah, and it's like there's th 14 there's years that now. There's nothing compares almost. to a Brawl vet, man. And we're, yeah. we're going to see it here. Already yeah, off the sure. bat, we're looking very, very even between these two. Adamus has been making pretty good use of Inhale, actually. I didn't see it too often the last time they played. Um, but he's using it a lot as a, as a punish option. Mm. It looks like he might have been looking for the down tilt on ledge. But Jaja coming back safely with that up. He's getting a grab here, and he might be able to capitalize off this for the first stock. Yeah, well, we'll see right now. I mean, 152, Kirby does have kill power. A lot more than people think sometimes. But, uh, man, 165, yeah. Adamus has got to be careful because they're... Oh, oh, oh no way! No! <laughs> he up and back to stage actually takes the first stock. JJ, look out! With yeah, JJ, JJ is gonna be able to get it right back. Yeah, with yeah. that back, uh, that back here. I mean, yeah, that was crazy. That's the thing. It's like sometimes people just don't understand. Like, you do have to be a little bit careful if the DDD decides to land on stage, and like sometimes people just don't expect it, and they just turn their brain off for like two seconds, and all of a sudden, there you go, stock's gone. Like we just saw in front of us. Yeah, it's a sort of like uh, he can't come up here and hit. Me. <laughs> oh no, he came up here and hit me. Yeah. Kind of thing. But yeah, and again. Uh, you, you mentioned it a second ago, JJ, though, immediately, like, not losing composure, just staying calm, and right off the bat, taking the stock back, mm -hmm. and here we are, like, only 3% separating the two players. They're, they're, this is as even as even gets. Mm -hmm. You know, this is actually something I've uh, noticed a lot. I think it was, uh, Ice Killer made a tweet recently about, like, using Final Cutter, like, in neutral, and more Kirby started using it more and more, and JJ has absolutely utilized it uh so much like you can see how many final cards are actually throwing out like it's actually a really good move for kirby to use it's very it's quick like it sends out a little projectile and like and more and more kirby's i've noticed have been using it like just in neutral or just like just a poking tool uh tool so it's kind of interesting to see like a new kind of play style that's been developed it's like uh ike up b but like slightly faster and with mm -hmm. a projectile so it's like it's very good as uh not only is it get off me option but as a uh -huh. spacing tool Speaking of spacing tool, though, no one can get a second. Big DBZ! What? <laughs> DBZ! They just sent the complete opposite direction from each other. That was... <laughs> <laughs> that was as anime as anime gets, my friend. Dude, I thought Adamus had a chance of living there, but no, actually still going to blow off the side of the blast. Zone. I think they both hit each other in the back air, too. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> it wasn't wasn't J Jaws a dash attack? I think it was back air trading uh -oh. with Kirby dash attack. Oh, I don't remember. Either way, though, they both died. <laughs> yeah, no, they definitely did die. And uh, But we're going to be getting into the final stock here. And right now, we got Adamus taking a little bit of an early lead. Uh, getting these side bees definitely going right now. I didn't even get the Gordo hit. Just got the hammer swing uh, to get a little bit of extra damage. And there we go. Off stage. But Adamus, no stranger to being off stage. I mean, that's just something you got to deal with as DDD. You're going to go off stage. You're going to go off stage often. It just happens. But here's the thing. You said, you like literally said it like two seconds ago. Adamus with a little bit of a lead. And look at that. The lead is just about shrunk between mm -hmm. the two. J-Jaw is an um, absolute monster. Ooh comes to damage output, but the mash here gonna save him from a follow-up option out of Adamus. Not gonna be able to do anything here quite yet. Ah! Okay, Whoa! I thought we were about to see a stock uh, gone right there, but no, JJ that's not gonna be uh, right on top of it. But I mean, oh geez, dude, Adamus' grabs are actually so good. Like it's, oh God, no, as soon as that dash tech was going, I'm like, there's no way JJ's there's gonna be no able way. to get out of the way. <laughs> so, what we just saw right there, was it looked stupid i'm gonna be real with you it looked stupid but that was genius from adamus because he pressured um he pressured any jump option from jaja with the mm -hmm. uh with the gordo that was bouncing right above him and then came in with a dash sack worst that was gonna happen was that jaja was gonna maybe grab and back throw and hey okay, so what your ddd off stage you've got plenty of jumps to get back best case scenario adamus kills and right there he got the stock got the game fantastic play from ddd is awful I think if JJ was just to go right to the ground and hold shield with the dash attack and the Gordo landing on shield, I don't I know if it would have caused a shield break, 
but it would have been very close. Um, it would have been difficult for JJ, I think, to react to it properly, you know, especially just with uh, online being the way it is. But either way, that's just a hypothetical. I mean, either way, Adamus took the game to, uh, game one, but looks like we're going to be happening right into this game two, going to Final Destination. This could be tough for uh, Adamus here, obviously being a bigger body, and Kirby just having such a volatile combo game. I mean, never mind uh, you're, you being a bigger character, but I mean, <laughs> Adamus is taking a pretty good early lead here, putting a lot of pressure on J-Job, but we'll see if that can turn around possibly. Something that I like to harken back to, I can't remember exactly oh! what tournament it was at, um, but it was JJ JJ versus Epic Gabriel. Um, and JJ took Gabe here as his counter pick, and I watched <laughs> JJ do uh, up tilt down air, up tilt down air. For oh, the like air ride, 70%. yeah. Yeah, I watched yeah. the air ride Gabe for 70%. And DDD is another big body character, so I could definitely see the air ride coming out here. Uh, as another factor, but like you said, Adamus was off to a fantastic start, almost 100% completely oh, unanswered from JJ, and almost a stock if that back air had managed to kill. Did you and see that Kirby? That back air is going to manage to kill. Yeah, uh, Kirby actually pancaked um, DDD Nair right there. That's <laughs> actually kind of wild. Uh, Kirby's crouching animation again, uh, just basically <laughs> makes him almost non existent. What a great air dodge, too. Wow, barely missing out on that down smash. Um, yeah, we're gonna be able to get back to stage here. Maybe J Dot doing a good job keeping that pressure going. All right, good. Good little dodge back. Now they're kind of resetting into neutral. But man, J Dot's doing a great job placing these back airs. Ooh, oh, Ooh, that that down B was scary. But I just like the fact that Adamisk has held onto this. I don't know what that up B was. <laughs> um, the fact that Adamisk has held onto this stock so long now with stage two rage online, he could do some serious damage here if JJ isn't careful. But mm -hmm. the very last hit of the fair is going to take care of him. Oh that God! Back air, that's so good. Yeah, this is potentially a bad spot. Okay, JJ is going to get back to ledge without too much pressure. Oh, never mind. That's actually a really big setup for Adamus there, where he'll throw out the Gordo, kind of force the opponent into his shield. And either he's just going to get the grab and just get a follow-up out of that, but there's actually times where the Gordo will still be bouncing, and he'll go to uh, either, he'll I think it's up, down he'll throw. throw. He'll either no, he'll go to down throw. throw. And it's like it it's like he grabs him by the neck and just kind of uh, throws him into the Gordo and actually gets a whole lot of damage and like a combo out of it as well. It's, it's pretty a, it's insane. A, I call it a test of decision-making. Because the opponent has to sit there and go, okay, I either get hit by the Gordo or I get grabbed. There is very few characters that have a third option. Like, for example, I've seen Game & Watch be able to up be out of the way of something like that. But again, uh, there there are not many characters that do have that third option on the board. So it's it's interesting to see like where their priorities lay. Like, okay, I'll take the hit from Gordo. Or okay, I'll take the grab and maybe a kill setup or maybe even more percent from getting chucked into the Gordo. Uh-oh. Ooh, yep. Uh, probably an ill-advised Gordo there, but never mind. Uh, up air gonna be able to send JJ right back off stage. <laughs> but gonna land right into a dash attack. And now Animus is back off stage. This is actually kind of insane. These two are just bodying each other back and forth. I want a game three, Skiff. Um, I think we might be getting it. I mean, right now we got JJ with 150. This could be a very tough spot. Oh, that was almost really scary. I think Kirby maybe had like a fraction of a second left on that ledge of its ability. Fit is going to take the stock, and you were saying this is looking like a game three. You might have cursed it because Adamus for sure is not out of this yet. Oh, oh yeah, definitely not. Doing Ooh. some work, seventy percent unanswered right now on this final stock, eighty-six and counting. Adamus though getting that Gordo off to finally bring himself back into this game. A little bit of percent. This is still anyone's game. I know the percents look very different, but yep. until the screen says game, it's not over yet, and we are going to a game three. That was actually well played by JJ at the end there. I uh, just kind of like recognizing that Adam Esk is off stage and DDD's air mobility isn't exactly the best. So like JJ had a lot of time to just kind of go out there and meet him because like even if Adam Esk was to drop down with like a Nair, which I think is a pretty common option for DDDs, uh, Kirby's back air is so goddamn strong. <laughs> um, like it would have traded. Thank you, thank you Snap uh, Snack Cup for the Prime subscription. Huge shout outs. Oh yeah, let's go snack cup. Yeah, uh, thanks for uh, for you know supporting 2G Gaming, 2GG. Uh, these guys have been pretty awesome uh, for the most part. They allow me on commentary, so they gotta be kind of cool, uh, at least a little bit. But allowing last on commentary—that's awesome, man. That's that insane. I'll be honest with you. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, you know, every day I wake up and I go, Am I, is Skiff going to make me cry today? And usually the answer is yes. Dude, um, Sunday, Sunday, we, we, went, we went at each other. <laughs> Sunday was probably the worst day of my life. Um, <laughs> it's just another no, Wednesday for me. Like, what you... <laughs> Skiff, we're going to meet at the major and there's going to be a salty sweep, but it won't be in Smash. Yeah, I know it's gonna be me punching you in the head ten times, but look at this damage. Speaking Whoa, of punch in the head, of, yeah, <laughs> getting punched in the head. JJ triple dare the drill into drill into drill, sending Atomist all the way down into the blast zone with no hope for escape. That was fantastic. Mm, yeah, but ooh, okay, uh, that was a good little set from Atomist. But the thing is, is like Atomist is definitely not out. That was a great opening from JJ. But either way, like, Adamus could easily close out the stock pretty soon and even turn this around. I mean, JJ's definitely got a good bit of momentum going on right now, especially after that Game 2 win. And, uh, yeah, they're getting a lot of extra credit here. Here we go. Forward air. Going to send him off stage. Ooh, I don't know. I think that might have been some suspect DI. I'm not quite sure what happened. Yeah, that, but that either was, way. That was looking a bit like Mom just made dinner. I got to go. And I, I don't, don't even really, I can't even really think of like, was there a mix up there that Adamus did that caught Jay, uh, Jay Jaw lacking on it? And I, I don't think so. I think it was just a straight up mistake. Yeah, well, I think because a lot of people don't realize how strong DDD's uh, forward air actually is. It's very quick. It can kill pretty effectively, but I wasn't expecting the kill from the center of the stage. So maybe he was just expecting like a nair or something. I'm not quite sure, but either way, uh, get it in the stock. And if you look at it right now, uh, almost evening up the percentages. Yeah, no, like this is this is even. This is 100% even percents. Or that was that was a weird way to say uh, say it. But like they're they're both going to die at the next big hit. Mm -hmm. Um, speaking of the next big hit, that smash <laughs> out of the field. JJ are gonna capitalize on Atomisk's end lag after throwing out that Gordo and missing, and gonna take the second stock. He's looking very very good right now, despite how strong Atomisk was in game one. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I just love watching these two play because, like, it just kind of fits right into the whole uh, <laughs> DDD versus Kirby uh, yeah, <laughs> deal. Just another DDD. This is exactly what Sakurai intended. Did you ever watch the um, Kirby Superstar, like, right back at you or whatever? You ever watch yeah. that cartoon? Dude, I for whatever thought... reason, they made King DDD talk like a, uh, <laughs> like, like a, a city slicker or something like that. He had such a southern <laughs> accent. It was <laughs> weird. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he's like, like he's like, I'm gangster. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna get that Kirby. <laughs> I'm gonna mess you up, see? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna get that Kirby. And I don't know why, but like, it always sticks out to me. And I kind of wish they so, got that voice actor in to do uh, the voice for DDD. I mean, I know Sakura does the voice, but like, I wish that, we had uh, uh, right back at you. That's exactly how Adamus talks. Um, Adamus, <laughs> little known fact, is a 1940s gangster. <laughs> they don't do it like they used to. They don't make them like they used to, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, they don't They don't make that Gordo like they used to. God, Brawl Gordos were terrifying. Yeah, but uh, that's the price that you pay when you get all Gordos now. I kind of miss the whole Waddle Dees and, and uh, what's the other one? Wasn't it, um... The know. one that does like the uh, the little like electric uh, taser whip yeah. thing. I forget little, what those are called. I call them zappy boys, but because I was like six when Brawl came out. <laughs> I mean, you act like you're still six, but. That's true. <laughs> oh, here we go. Adamus definitely could take this here. It's looking very, very close. And again, just like I said oh, on the second man. stock, this next big hit <laughs> is going to be Kurt oh! and Adamus <laughs> with the get up. Wake up bear going to smack Kirby right in the face with that big old hammer and send him out of the tournament. I'm gonna get that Kirby. I'm gonna get that Kirby. I'm gonna get that Kirby. 